Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to do a video that I did a lot of crazy things. I actually, I um, first of all gave you a tip which I will show you in a little bit and then I was um, showed you a drawer that needed emptying out and I emptied it but did I get rid of the stuff? No, I just got a box and dumped everything in a box and put just a few things back in the drawer because I really do need to keep those. And then there was a few things I didn't know what they were, so I had Jim look at them and he got rid of them because he said we don't need them. There was, um, I watched a video that they were talking about if you want to de declutter, that you should not focus on the flat surfaces. Focus on drawers and cupboards well I sh I will sh I show you the drawer overflowing I show you the spot where the drawer came out I show you an underneath the part of the cupboard but I haven't even tackled that there's so much stuff in there that when you you'd be shocked when when you pull the stuff out how much stuff there really is it's it's amazing it's like when I pulled everything out of that little um, furnace room in the daycare it was like I had the whole counter full, I had a table full, and I had another table full, and I had to bag everything up and take it out to the little building. Well, that's pretty much what I need to do again. I need to, but not take it out to the building. It needs to go into the garbage because most of the stuff isn't any good, I'm sure. It's just stuff that I've accumulated. Like when you don't know what to do with it, you throw it in a drawer or you throw it in a cupboard. That's what kind of stuff it is. Today I watched a movie what was the movie we watched? It was Convoy. 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 It was suspenseful. I liked it. And the guy in the end, I don't want to spoil it for you, but he makes it. <laughs> it's an old movie. You probably already saw it. But it's good. It's really an exciting movie to watch. And I like the way all the truckers kind of stick together and really support each other. It, that was, I think the part that I liked the best is the fact that they all they had no they didn't know what the cause was of the first driver in the truck but they were all gonna go along with them and support them and that's kind of what happens here on YouTube <laughs> I know it yeah. we all support each other which is great and that's um, probably it for me to talk because I'm running out of stuff. This is why I don't want to go live because I feel like I will run out of stuff and and I know I will and then I will start to get silly and silly is not good. So let's just go to the little videos and you can see the tip that I have for you today and my messy drawer. So we'll go to that now. A lot of times when we get things out, like I got my dehydrator out the other day, you have the cords and you want to put it away. And I mentioned yesterday how I like to keep the cords flat. When you bring them out of the boxes, a lot of times they're real crinkled. So what we do is we, we will rub our hands down and try to smooth them out as best as possible. And then when we put them away, we try to keep them as flat as possible and make a nice circle so that you're not breaking any of the wires inside. Then to store it, your toilet paper rolls, you just slide them over the end and then you can put it away. There's your there's your um, device, and you don't get your when you go to get it again. You're not dragging a cord. You're not untangling cords from other appliances that maybe are up there or wherever you put them. That's my little tip for today. What are we looking at, really? What are we looking at? We're looking at probably thirty years of stuff that um, ended up in this drawer that now no longer will close. So it's time to empty it out. I'll show you where it came from. Came from this area. Look at that. Look at all the dust that's been in there. This, this drawer has um, never been out, as you can see. It's a cabinet. And inside the cabinet, what's in the cabinet? More stuff. Oh my goodness. You know, I was watching a how to clean video and it says 
to not try to do the flat surfaces, but to do things that are inside things. So I guess this is where I begin. I'm gonna do the inside and the drawer. I'm gonna start with the drawer, and then maybe we'll do this one. We'll get to that one at a later time, maybe. Don't know, but anyways, that's what I'm, my plan is. Well, the drawer is empty. But I've got this to take care of, which is, these are just papers that, um, papers of things that we've bought and, and things that I don't even know what they are for. Heaven only knows. Lots of stuff. Then there's all of this. Look at this. <gasps> so much stuff. That needs to be taken care of. I have these hands. I'll show you the hands. This hand, that one was Michael's in 1987. Okay, now Emily is the only one that I did a lot of her hands. These are homemade hands, so if you want to do homemade hands, you can. This was her first hand. Then this was her next hand. What a mess I've got going on here. And this one. I did. And this, oops, got some more stuff. And this was her last hand that I did in 2000. These were all made out of, out of clay. Out of Play-Doh clay that I made. Then, this was... This was Jim's hand when he was in kindergarten. He had fat fingers for a little guy. But he's got, that's his hand. Then I ran into hair. We saved hair. This hair was Emily's hair. This hair was Laura's hair. It's doubled over. This was Laura's hair. This was my hair. Look at how dark my hair was at one time. I had really curly hair. This is one of the times we cut it. I had lots of long hair before that, that we didn't save. But this was my hair. Oh, my nose. That was in that drawer. Can you believe we saved hair? This should go to the love of locks. These, these two could. Mine's too short. Locks of love, or whatever they call it. Then there was all this, I don't know, stuff. And the headband, lanyards. Then there was, these are the things I got from Karina that are there. I got to take care of them. And then there was dog and cat grooming stuff. And I was looking for, oh, these are dog other shears that they don't work very good. I was looking for um, paper to write on. I found some. And there was this from my parents. And more grooming stuff. And these were incense things, candle. They're, they're smelly things that you're supposed to put out. You don't light them or anything. From a candle light thing that I paid, I don't know what I, it was 19, or 2000, yeah, 2014, probably was, I don't know, 2014 I got that, and let it snow, I don't think so, but anyways, I gotta take care of this stuff now, lots of magnets, these were magnets for um, business cards, you can put a business card on them. I should have Jim do some and mail them out. And these were what came in the mail. Must be we got a lot of them at one time. And other magnets. I saved these because a lot of times we would stick something to them and put them on the fridge. Which I cleaned my fridge off. I cleaned the fridge off. Look, 
my fridge has got a lot less on it. And I rearranged my pictures. Look at all the pictures on there. Oh my goodness. And I cleaned off the side. This got cleaned off. Oh, there I am. Look, Jim, Jim the two, he, he wanted more than one of me, so there's two of me. I'm actually one of them, but I'm not the other one. And there's, there we are, a little picture of us. And there's my ho, ho, ho that the kids play with that Karina gave me. Can you believe I have so much junk? And that's a great way to use up your toilet paper roll, so don't throw them away. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow, so have a great night or a great day. Some of you are on the other side of the world, so you're having a great start to your day, and some of us are ready to go to bed. I'm the go-to-bed kind of end of the world, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.